this one is number six. Five and one more makes six. Oh, gosh, that's a lot, isn't it? Right, okay, let's see our next picture in our phonics session. So are you ready? Got to get really good at listening. Do you remember our listening song we sing when we do phonics? Goes like this, doesn't it? We are listening, we are listening. Can you hear? Can you hear? Turn your ears on, turn your ears on. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. Right, here we go. Right, have a look at that picture. Now, some of you might know what it is and some of you might not. Can you see this little box down here? It's a little tiny box. And can you see this really long spring that goes down? And at the top, there's a little toy called Jack. And this is a Jack in the box. Jack in the box. That's right, he's called a Jack in the box. There's the box down here. And then his head all the way up here. And it goes all the way down the spring like that. And the Jack in the box lives in this little box. And when the lid is tied down, you can't see him. And then when somebody opens the lid, the Jack in the box bounces out the box. He goes boing right up here. There's his head and he goes all the way down, curls round and back in the box. So this picture is called Jack in the Box. OK, let's do my turn, your turn. My turn. Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. Well done. OK. Oh, now this one, oh, this is a bit tricky. Have a look at that. Now, I expect you'll know that that is a bird. And it is a bird, isn't it? Can you see the wings? Now, this bird has got a special name. It's called a vulture. That's right. He's a vulture. Now, he's not a very nice bird, actually, vultures. But he's got a big wing up here and another big wing up there. And can you see his legs? And there's his big beak that he uses to peck lots of things. And then his long scraggy neck. So this is a vulture. V and when you say v, you put your teeth on your lip and you can feel it tickling a bit. V can you do that? So this is a vulture. OK, my turn, your turn. Vulture. Vulture. Well done. Now, this one. I think you'll know if you look really carefully. I know the sun's making it a bit. That's it. I think you'll know this one if you look really carefully because there's a head there. Can you see it? There's a head there and this insect goes down and up and down and up and there's his tail. Can you see what that is? That's right, it's a worm. A worm. We found lots of worms at nursery, don't we? Lots of wriggly worms, that's right. So, are you ready? This is a w w worm. Okay? W w 
worm. My turn. W w worm. W w worm. Well done. Come on then, w w worm. Right now, this one is quite tricky. And I don't think you'll have heard of this one before. It's an animal, isn't it? Can you see? Can you see his face? And he's got eyes and a nose and he's got some ears. And he's got these two big horns that go up there. Well, this animal is called a yak. Oh my goodness, have you heard of that? I don't think I'd heard of that when I was your age. A yak. That's right. And yaks. I don't think we've got any yaks who live in our country. I think they live in other countries. They might live in India, maybe. Uh, somewhere with lots of mountains, a bit like the Himalayas, maybe. Because they're very good at climbing, yaks, I think. So, um, yeah, anyway, this animal is called a yak, okay? And you say it, y, y, yak, okay? So he's got one big horn up there and another big horn up there. And then he's got this nice little face all round there. All right? Okay, my turn. Y, y, yak. Y, y, yak. Excellent. Well done. Now, the last one I'm doing today is much easier, and I think you'll know exactly what that is. That's right. It's a zip, isn't it? I wonder if you can think of something that's got a zip in your house. Maybe a bag or some clothes. I'm sure you've got some zips in your house. And can you see the zip at the top is open, the teeth of the zip are open and it goes across there, down there and across there. And there's the little handle bit that you pull the zip up and down with. That's right. So this picture is called zip. Zip. Okay, my turn. Zip. Zip. Well done. Okay. Now, just before we look at them again, there was one, the first one, the Jack in the Box. I don't think I said it quite right at the bit beginning, did I? When I did my turn, your turn, I just did Jack in the Box. But I should have done J, J. Jack in the box. Okay, so we're going to practice this one again. Ready? J, J, Jack in the box. J, J, Jack in the box. Well done. Okay, right, I'm going to go muddle, 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 muddle. Right, we're going to see how many we can remember. Ready? Uh, so we're going to do my turn, your turn. Okay, here we go. Yak. Oh, no, sorry, boys and girls. Y, y, yak. Well done. W, w, worm. Vulture. Well done. J, J, Jack in the Box. Zip. Well done, boys and girls. Okay, give yourselves a little pat on the back. 